Well, happy Saturday morning to everyone watching this video. The most common question I get asked on this channel is, how do I find these people? Well, JJ Stoner for one, who you can watch every day at noon on the JJ Stoner channel. He discovered Latiti, James, and Mary. But aside from that, they tend to find me. I seem to have a superpower to make schizophrenic and borderline personality disorder having late stage middle aged women very angry. But there is another, a more powerful warrior of the milk who I found and keeps producing some of the sweetest lore I have ever enjoyed learning and relaying to you. Armed Liberal, aka The Devastator, aka The Velvet Villain, aka Alabaster Bastard. Armed Liberal is a, well we'll use the word man loosely, a 36 year old man who spends his days dreaming of becoming a white rapper collecting Pokemon cards and cheap guns and still lives with his mother in his trailer, making videos on his phone that he cannot edit because he's too impoverished to even own a laptop and a cracked copy of Premiere. He is a look back to 2005 internet at its best. Just an immature man-child still crying about how his conservative Mormon gun-hating father left in his raps, and who lashes out by being a gun-loving liberal atheist, just hitting his edgy atheist fedora-tipping phase at 36 years old. Now, despite how many times you might scream at this person, hey, you're on the wrong side of 35 to be living with your mom telling her you're gonna buy her this trailer someday when your rap career takes off. Armed Liberal will simply refute you by telling you that being an unemployed Pokemon trainer living in his mother's house, dressing like a 12 year old and whining on Twitter all day is, and I quote him here, living his best life. Now, with someone like this, a cringe masked political person, and I assure you, he is serious, you can always find more. Even though we may not know the true identity of this cringe superhero just yet, inevitably, somebody will recognize him and drop a name eventually. But despite that, he has left a sizable thumbprint on social media, including his Facebook posts, which we'll be discussing today. Now, it's important to remember if you go and approach this man on Twitter, he will spend literally 48 hours repeating the same copes to you. You're just jealous of him. You're middle-aged and old, despite him being the same age, which indicates that he clings to this phantom adolescence because he knows for a fact to admit he is a middle-aged adult at 36 playing Pokemon with kids. He is a complete failure at life. This despite him claiming to have some degree that he's in crippling debt for and really needs your tax dollars to dig him out of. Armed Liberal will tell you over and over that you're struggling and enraged while you and your friends laugh in his face. He will use internet slang he doesn't quite understand like triggered while he responds to every post anyone makes about him for days at a time due to his obsessive compulsive disorder and deep insecurity and trauma about his broken, failed life. You gotta see it for yourself at ArmedLiberalYT on Twitter. But back to the point. What we found on Facebook was one of the funniest posts I think I have seen since finding Scooby331's Amazon wishlist filled with sex toys and furry outfits. As it turns out, the Velvet Villain is possibly sexually attracted to female Transformers and admits to crying his eyes out watching the Transformers Netflix series. And by Transformers, no, I don't mean transgender people. I mean he sits in his mother's house, 
And at the time, he was 34, so this was not a troll unless he has a time machine to go back and long game us. And literally cries as he pleasures himself with the tears as lubricant to images of cartoon robots. Take a look. Hey, yo, yo, yo. How about finishing War of Cybertron Earthrise? And you better damn well show more to female Autobots, including introduction of female Decepticons. Hey, yo, I cried my eyes out when Moonracer died, when searching for the AllSpark and Optimus held her as she died. The only time Netflix has ever done a series right was War for Cybertron Siege. Alita One was amazing as the lead female character and her silent relationship with Optimus makes me want to know more. I love it. Hey, yo, yo, yo. Word to your mother. War for Cybertron makes Game of Thrones look like a Walmart special for tasteless viewers. I bawled my evil heart out when Decepticon Impactor said, Ratchet, thank you for showing me the light. Man, my heart hurts you did so good on this show. No one cares about your other shows. For Cybertron! And then he drops a little robot emoji. And when this guy inevitably claims that this was all part of some troll and he was just pretending to be dumb and weird and sexually attracted to Transformers, remember, he posted this two years ago. So unless he is a psychic or has a time machine, that is absolutely not true. Again, this is coming out of a middle-aged man who dresses like a 12-year-old, claims to be a white rapper, collects Pokemon cards, is unemployed, living in his mom's trailer with his mommy, and now we know has an unusual attraction to cartoon robots. Now, I don't want to say this is in character for him, as who can guess is what this man's character really is. But I know this. He thinks bragging on Twitter about going to a karaoke bar is a win. But if he did go somewhere and he wasn't just making that up, he spent the entire time vomiting the same insults at these same 20 people and then desperately coping by claiming he has them all on the hook and all of their lives are empty. And it's not the other way around. And by 20 people, I don't mean at the same time. Everyone else took an appropriate three to four minutes to yank this guy's chain and then move on. But not armed liberal, he answers to everything. and I the homies. Some real pal, some real phony. I found real love while pissing on Mormon matrimonies. If you get to know me, I am the golden and holy. My green goddess always knows how to hold me. Lo and behold my glory while these tater haters die lonely. Downloadable rappers and hip-hop honkies. Oh, can't you see? You can't spell fame without me. And I ain't talking video game when I speak of destiny. 1986, I began my excellent journey. My mother I was an angel, but my father was a fiend. Don't get it twisted, I'm not complaining. Instead, I became the strongest man in the galaxy. Even the stars are confused by my story. Not looking for American apathy. Instead, I'm developing my own devastating legacy. Wah. Well, I'm Living my dreams, buffer than you, cause I lift heavy things. Glitter and bling, strippers and trees, trailer park memes and methamphetamines. Kicking ice cream, counting them rings. Job of the hub bitches, all that I see. I scour the sea, shark I will be. Me it's just always amusing to me when you dig even inches deep on one of these crazy, super liberal individuals. It reveals so much. His rap tells his age. The setting of his videos show us his location in a trailer, and that has not changed his Pokemon card collection, he'll openly tell you he's in crippling debt from student loans. While quoting that his man Biden is gonna take money from the working man to pay his loans off while he sits unemployed. I didn't think such a liberal would be in favor of a giant bank bailout. But as we've learned about our armed liberal friend, he is a man of great contradiction. A man who thinks you're a sucker for working for a living. According to him, 
If you have kids, you're a dumb negligent loser because kids cost $300,000 over the course of a lifetime and he's too smart for that. He's just not smart enough to choose a college degree that wouldn't leave him in poverty and unemployed through his mid-30s. He's a man who will tell you that you are a failure. Despite him having to wait until his mommy and Nana are done using the trailer bathroom so his 36-year-old butt can make videos like this. A dupa dapa dupa dapa. Oh, oh. A dupa dapa dupa dapa. Oh, oh. A dupa dapa dupa dapa. Oh, oh. Hail Satan. And to top it all off, now we know from his own mouth that when he's not stroking his prized Pokemon card collection or borrowing his mother's boyfriend's guns to wave around in his bathroom, He's literally crying with his member in his hand, in his twin bed, in his mother's house, to the Netflix Transformer series, and sexually ideating on female Transformers. I have no idea what we'll find out next. But whatever it is, surely it can't be good, as there is nothing about this pasty white, middle-aged, balding Idahoan man-child, dressed like a 12-year-old, dreaming about catching them all, while firing out knuckle children to a pink palette swapped Optimus Prime that anyone needs to worry about. No, nothing at all. No red flags here. Whatever you do, if you live in the Portland area, don't keep an eye out for this totally not unhinged weird psychopath with guns and a political agenda, setting Bibles on fire and jerking off to Pokemon. You guys that live in the Pacific Northwest, have fun thinking about that today. Later!